What's up, YouTube? It's RS Mario128 bringing you um, the next part in my P Mega Pokemon Mega Meta Mega Pokemon <laughs> Meta Game Analysis. Way too many M words in that statement, but uh, yeah. So I'm bringing you another episode. This is episode five. Uh, I've done four other ones. I did uh, I did Meta I did Mega Metagross. I did Mega Swampert. Mega Skeptile and Mega Diancy, and so in this in this um, series, I've been covering announced but unreleased um, Mega Pokemon that are coming up in a Mega Ruby and Apple Sapphire. So the last of them is Mega Sableye. This is the last one so far, at least until like the end of the week because uh, the reason I was doing this was I was doing this in anticipation for the Mega Scoop which is going to be a huge supposedly big Koro Koro story where they talk about a ton of Mega Pokemon that are going to be in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire so um yeah so let's go alright so Mega Sableye Mega Sableye when I first heard about Mega Sableye, I was kind of excited because it, it happened like near the end of the big E3 rush and all this other kind of stuff. But then it was kind of like you, they kind of told they kind of told us about them, and it was like, oh, okay. You know, I wasn't really excited after that, you know. But then I, I did some more research, and I'm thinking, okay, there's some viability here. But um, before I get into Mega Sableye, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about regular Sableye, regular old annoying ass Sableye. So, here we go. Um, regular Sableye is a dark ghost Pokemon. And up to Generation 6, it was one of the only two Pokemon, well, technically three, to not have a natural weakness. So, you know, it had no weak, basically. And there's only three Pokemon that ever actually do that. And that is Sableye, uh, the ever-forgotten Spirit Tomb and um, Electros, but that was only because of his ability. But uh, yeah, Sableye had no weakness up to Generation 6. Sableye is a dark ghost Pokemon, um, and it only has one weakness, and that's Fairy. So his abilities are Keen Eye, Stall, and Prankster. Alright, um, Keen Eye is a pretty interesting ability. It basically gives you, um, your accuracy cannot be decreased. And also, uh, the opponent's evasion increases in, it, in your opponent's evasion don't matter. So, I mean, that's not bad, but it's pretty useless in the current metagame because, well, you know, there's an evasion clause. So you can't really use moves that decrease accuracy or decrease uh, or increase your evasion. Like, say, sand attack or double team. You can't use moves like that because they pretty much break the metagame. Um... Uh, let's see, Stall is um, an ability I had never heard of until I, re I started looking up Sableye. And it basically, it makes you go last. Which, um, I guess is interesting. Um, it's not affected by Trick Room. It's not affected by any other stuff. So basically, if you have Stall and you, you, know, you use Trick Room, you don't automatically go first. Because you automatically go last. No, which is weird and it seems kind of useless to me I mean that's I mean well technically there's a use for everything in the Pokemon world it's just very hard to, to figure it out um, but to me I haven't really figured out a use for stall yet but I might I might one day um, and then probably the, the ability that people use the most on Sableye or uh, probably the only one that they actually use is Prankster uh, prankster is um you know, if you don't know what prankster is you probably haven't been playing the meta game for the last generation or so but uh prankster basically makes all non-damaging moves priority moves which means they automatically go first depending on their level of priority and the speed tier so um that means moves like toxic taunt will-o-wisp um all those moves go first so that, that just made, you know, that just made Sableye the most annoying, one of the most annoying Pokemon in the metagame because, I mean, yeah, especially with things like Taunt, you know, so if you wanted to, like, Toxic it, you know, you, you really couldn't because Taunt goes first, you know, or, or Recover, you know, you tried to hit it, you know, 
with that we're almost dead and you try to finish it off recover is a non-damaging move so guess what it has priority it goes first so um yeah prankster is an awesome ability especially uh, on a pokemon like um sableye that has as many non-damaging moves as it does um it's stats uh sableye's stats uh they're nothing special um he has 50 hp which is okay. I mean, you can, you, you can build off his defenses to make it bulkier, but uh, it has 75 attack, 75 defense, 65 special attack, 65 special defense, and 50 speed, um, giving it a grand total of 380 uh, points, which uh, is kind of low, um, especially for a finally evolved Pokemon. But um, oh well, it's um. You can build off of its defenses, which is what most people do, to keep it around so it can just keep annoying people. Also, you have recover, so you know, you can recover off any damage you get. Um, you know, it's, uh, I mean, it's not a bad Pokemon. It's just basically there to, like, annoy people, you know, and to set up things. So, Nintendo figured, okay, well, let's give it a Mega Evolution. Let's go ahead and let's, let's make this thing awesome. Uh, and they kind of, kind of did. Like uh, Mega Mega Sableye is interesting Pokemon. He has a brand new look. You know, he's carrying this giant freaking ruby. I don't know how this thing doesn't get robbed, but um, yeah. So you know, Mega Mega Sableye is pretty interesting. The only thing about it is they took away probably one of the things that made Sableye as useful as it is. And that's they took away Prankster. Um, Mega Sableye is he keeps his Dark Ghost typing. He loses all his abilities, including Prankster, and gains Magic Bounce, which isn't bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, magic Bounce is not a bad ability. I mean, uh, Mega Diancie gets it. Um, Mega Abso gets it, and I think somebody else gets it too. But it's not a bad ability, it's just another one of those cookie cutter abilities that they put on Mega Pokemon like Tough Claws and like, you know, all these other abilities that you just stick on Pokemon just to say, oh look, he's Mega and he's awesome! Um, so, um, okay. I mean, it has Magic Bounce, it doesn't have Prankster anymore. Magic Bounce is still useful. But, uh, let's get to its stats. Now, this is the interesting part, because I had completely lost faith in Mega Sableye when I heard it lost Ma uh, Prankster. Then, they kind of said that, oh, well, we're going to increase Sableye's uh, defense and its special attack stats, but we're going to decrease its speed, which, again, nerfs it even more. You know, so, I mean, if you have a Sableye that had all those setup moves, Basically, putting setup moves on Sableye is almost useless at this point. You know, the only non-damaging moves you should really have is either a boosting move or something like Pain Split. Because um, his speed is going to be ridiculously low. But here, uh, let's go into his stats. Uh, so, HP, uh, my prediction is the HP stays at 50. Uh, attack goes up to 95. And I'll explain that at the end of this stat portion. Um, his defense goes up to 115 because Nintendo did say they're going to increase his defense. Um, its special attack goes up by um, 40 points to 105, which it's going to need because it lost all of its other usefulness. Its, its special defense goes up by 20 points to 85, and its speed goes down to 30, bringing it to a uh, 480. This is, this is stats. I mean, not interesting. I mean, not bad. Not bad stats. I mean, this is just my prediction. It probably won't be actually like this, but it'll probably be close since they did say they're going to increase his special attack and his defense. Um, so with this set, uh, if this set is like this, I mean, he can actually be a viable offensive uh, Pokemon. Pokemon, you know, I mean, because 95 attack is buildable. Not to mention most of his uh, his um, move pool is um, physical, so you know the 95 attack is kind of like that's not bad for a Pokemon that has as many physical moves as Sableye. 
115 defense is awesome. I mean, anything, you know, like I said before, anything over 100 or basically anything over 90 is actually quite buildable. So 115 is not bad at all. Same thing with 105 special attack. You know, uh, even though his special move pool is not amazing, but it's not bad either. You know, and it also has some okay coverage. Um, 85 special defense is not bad. It'll keep him alive. And, um, you know, and of course, you know, 30th speed is kind of lame. But, um, yeah, so I, I basically predicted that they're going to take, you know, points from his speed and put it into his other attributes. Um, his moveset, this one was kind of hard because I was like, you know, I mean, because I've built stable assets before. I've never built one that was offensive. Most of them have been defensive because of Prankster. So building an offensive set was like, okay. But, um, so I, I kind of built like two sets in one. Um, I built one that was more suited toward his high special attack and one that was more suited towards his uh, slightly increased attack and his very physical move pool. So here we go. Um, first one being Calm Mind or Hone Claws. Depending on what set you're gonna run, if you're gonna run physical, run home claws. If you're gonna run special, run combine. Of course, you know combine will increase your special attack, getting you ready to sweep. You know this. Like if you if you're into the meta game, you know how to build up a sweeper. You know you know you know you're gonna need a stat boosting move of some sort. Combine and home claws are your stat boosting moves. Um, you know dark pulse or poison jab. Again, depending on what set you're building, physical or special, you will use one of these two moves. Uh, Dark Pulse is a is a uh, is basically stab for um, Sableye. You know, I mean, and with 105 special attack and whatever investment you decide to put into it, Dark Pulse will definitely do pretty good amount of damage just for anything that wants to switch in on Mega Sableye. Um, Poison Jab is basically for coverage. Uh, I would personally probably put Poison Jab on him regardless of the set because his only weakness is Fairy Pokemon. You know, everything else hits him normal uh, with, with uh, normal damage. But Fairy Pokemon are the only thing that can actually hit him super effectively. So putting Poison Jab on him since he knows no other poison move other than Toxic um, this is perfect for coverage. Um, let's see, Shadow Ball and Knock Off. Uh, Shadow Ball, again, is another stab move for your special set. Um, and Knock Off, is, not only is it a stab move for your physical set, it's also pretty damn annoying because people use, I mean, people are kind of, most, most Pokemon need their items. A ton of things run Knock Off nowadays. And it's pretty annoying, you know, so... Of course, a stab knockoff after home claws will not only do a pretty good amount of damage, but also can totally screw up your strategy, uh, your opponent's strategy with whatever item they're holding. Um, especially if it's a choice item or a leftovers or something like that. Um, next is Power Gem or Shadow Sneak. Alright, now I put Power Gem in here basically because when I make any type of Pokemon, I like a lot of varied coverage. Now, Power Gem does not exactly cover him from anything that does, you know, does super effective damage, but it's pretty much just a surprise in an opponent. So the next moves are Power Gem and Shadow Sneak. All right, so basically, Power Gem is basically just to add a little bit of extra flavor, a little bit more coverage to his move set, and Shadow Sneak is just a, a, is another stab for your physical set, and it's also priority. It's always important to put priority on your team. I put at least one or two priority moves on just about every team I build, if possible. And Shadow Sneak is a pretty good one. You know, um, and also you kind of need this since, you know, Mega Sableye is friggin' dirt slow. So, um, yeah, this is the set. You know, Calm Mind, Home Claws, Dark Pulse, Poison Jab. Shadow Ball, Knock Off, Power Gym, or Shadow Sneak. Now, you, of course, you can make your own sets. You know, you don't have to go 
by some cookie cutter set that somebody else puts up. Always make your own sets. You know, it makes the game more fun. Trust me. Yeah, so that's it. That's about it for Mega Sable Life. Um, so that's he's the last unannounced Mega Pokemon for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So I, there's no more of them. So now it's I have about a week. I think um, you know, the Mega Scoop comes out on like the 14th or the 15th, which means it'll leak around the 12th or the 10th. So we have about a week, about six days before the Mega Scoop comes out. So it's like, uh, what to do? So um, I've got several Pokemon videos I'm planning to do. But as far as this series goes, I'm going to do two more Pokemon. I'm going to do two in one video. And so I decided to go ahead and do Mega Latias and Mega Latios. Those are going to be my next two. Um, those are going to be done on Friday so um, yeah so look out for those also look out for my Zelda series you know that's coming and uh, I might do some more Smash Bros videos too so uh, Smash Flash videos so just um, keep it real keep a lookout for these new videos and uh, like comment subscribe and as always people keep it real <laughs>